What's up guys, welcome back to the vlog. Check us out this morning, man. 14 foot John boat, can you believe this? My buddy Jacob hit me up on Instagram and I do appreciate you, brother. Offered us a uh, little trip, a little day trip out here on the Johnny. This thing looks so sick, man. We've got this thing decked out. We're going out this morning with about eight combos on a lake about two hours from home. All I did this morning was set the alarm clock for 4 a.m. Chick-fil-A on the brain, where'd she go? Look at that platter. 20 chicken minis, man. We got the Red Gills bag packed with all of our tackle. We got the MTB box. Today's sponsor is actually Mystery Tackle Box. You guys will tell you more about that on the boat subscription service where you get monthly baits. I'm gonna go ahead and load up the box, man. Let's go ahead and hop in this thing. Oh, we are launching. What time is it? 6.38, just past sunrise, y'all. I think I'm gonna throw some top water first on you guys' recommendation. I put out a little poll on Instagram. If you guys aren't following me, go check it out. Weston underscore underscore Smith. And uh, y'all said throw top water over swim baits to start. So I think we're gonna start off with some GS Filthy Frog. Jacob's got a black one tied on. I've got the white. We're going to see which one I hit. Let's get after him. Yo, check this out, man. Pristine. We just launched. I am in no rush over here. Jacob's probably going to start throwing that frog. I got to eat a couple couple minis just to get me going. Just a couple. Uh huh. I don't want to put the. I heard that. Mm -hmm. Now he's probably gonna catch one in like two seconds and I'm gonna be like, what the heck? All right, let's have at it. Getting started with top water on y'all's recommendation. Check this out, man. Jacob with... I think we're good, I think we're good. I got it, I got this, my bad. <laughs> oh, I got lucky on the cast right there, that's all. It's so quiet back here. Oh, I just put my rods down. Can I lay them like on top of yours almost? Oh, yeah. I don't know if you really stress. Like I, I just throw my gear around kind of. <laughs> oh, God dang. Oh, he's got it. Yes, yes. Come on. Oh golly, I'm losing my handle over here. First blow up in the morning, guys. Yes, there we go, solid. Oh man, first fish in the boat. Okay, and it's a frog fish. Thank you guys for making that recommendation, man. Oh, there we go. Hey, you are a fatty, I get it, I get it. Look at you, kid. Yes, guys, filthy frog doing the dirty. That was so sick, I cast it. I kind of stirred him up right there. He was just right along the wall. And uh, I don't have much time to talk because there's probably 10 more right here that I could be catching. So I want to go ahead and get this back in here. Let me uh, go ahead and do that, guys. Filthy frog blow up, baby. Got to give that thing a second before I set the hook because, you know, I'm always setting too early, losing these frog fish. Okay. First one back in the water. We got to start fishing. Come on. We'll see you, bud. You cruising? You gonna cruise for us or what? All right then, we'll see you. <laughs> Thanks for playing. Dude, they got a little freaking ramp right here. This is the coolest, man. Yeah, the jet skis down that thing. <laughs> That's so cool. I don't know, this is just different for me, you guys. This looks so sick. These guys literally have a little ramp right outside their garage. I mean, this is, this is off the chain. Off the chain. Usually these filthy frogs don't get water in them because of this seal right here. Oh, speaking of top water. But uh, I think that last fish, when it chomped down on it, got a little water in there. Anyways, what am I supposed to do? Just cast down to open water? <laughs> oh, God damn, there's a little, little blow up in the background there. He following that wake. Oh, kids. Look, dude, that was, that was under there. Um, I'm mad about not getting a fish on that cast. <laughs> Round two of why did I not get a bite? Under the tree, can he do it? Oh, hell yeah. That squirrel said peace. <laughs> he said I'm up in my tree. <laughs> oh no, don't twist around the branch. I was, I've been watching some tactical bassin on the walk deal. And I think this is, this is a set, dude, this is like a 7.2 medium heavy. But for me, it's probably the right height because I'm a little shorter to kind of get that rod tip lower to the ground. What is right there feeding? Come on. You got him, you got him, you got him. You got him. Yes, bro. Yes, dude. He jumped right here at the front of the boat. Dude. Right? Oh my goodness, a little bigger. A little too big to flip. Thanks for the help. Thanks for the assist. She, she jumped right on in for me. So. 
<laughs> Did you not know you had a fish hole? No, I was looking this way. I'm like, you got it, you got it, you got it. Right here at the front of the boat. Did you set it when you felt it or because I said something? You said something. I okay. Just... <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. That's like a three. Well, I don't know if that's three. That's probably it might be two and a half. Scale. Two and a half for sure. I got one, but I know it's two and a half. Oh my god, dude. Heck yes. <laughs> You gonna go? Yeah, she's gonna go. Oh yeah. Just uh just playing games with us, man. They like to uh they like to get y'all riled up, the old viewers, man. That fish was not okay. <laughs> Didn't start swimming off. 7.04 a.m. guys. Let's get back in the water. <laughs> you're on, you're on, you're on. <laughs> that was right out in the open. That thing took it under for three seconds. That was awesome. <laughs> yeah. That wasn't you, huh? No. But that was a bass. No, he's back there. All right, let's both get in there. You go left, I go right. I'll go kind of right. <laughs> I'll try my best. Oh, yes. Okay, that's it. That's the cast. You got him. Oh, no, I'm in the freaking... No. No. How is there not a fish in here? Blow up. Ah. Dude, I almost want to try a buzz bait and just see what's up. <laughs> but I don't really want to untie the frog. I might, I might tie the... Uh... Might tie the buzz on some fluoro. That's what I'm gonna do. Now, where is the buzz bait? Oh, first try. That doesn't happen. Guys, what I just did is I uh, I tied on a buzz bait. I'm just curious if a little more noise might get their attention. They're definitely active this morning. A lot of fish popping, but bursting up here at the surface. And uh, it's a little windy in here now, and I'm just wondering if they can key in on the frog. I know they can, obviously, but uh, maybe we get a couple more bites on this thing. Maybe not. It's not like they're just munching the Texas rig either, so I'm gonna go back to the frog and have some fun. Oh my god! Oh my god, I was really that thing. Did he really? Did he really? Did he really? Back behind here. Dude, he's back in here. No, but that was a big blow up. He's right in here then. Dude, what a beast. Oh, look at that. That little pocket, huh? Is there a way to just walk over? Awesome. <laughs> the mind of the filmer. <laughs> hey, you said there's fish, huh? <laughs> just push that down. Uh, I can't remember if you push it down or pull it up. And then it will allow me to yeah, pull the... Yeah, then you can pull the motor up. There it goes. Jacob says there's usually a lot of fish back here, but you need a kayak. It's looking pretty dang shallow, but we're gonna... We're gonna see what we can make happen. You want a couple of these real quick? Yes. Yeah. Oh, I'm, no, I'm fine. I'm just chilling. Thank you. I think the video I put out today is going to be starting off with Devin and I going and getting a snake out of a neighbor's garage for him. We got uh, two snakes at the moment. Yeah, no, that was the that was a swim bait. Oh, dang. Not screwing around. No. <laughs> they say get away from my babies. That was intense. All right, man. Quick Chick-fil-A break. We are going to town on these chicken minis. I uh, went ahead and got us the whole catering platter. I want to tell you guys a second before we continue fishing though. It's been about an hour since our last bite on the top water. About today's sponsor, man, Mystery Tackle Box. Devin and I have been using this service for like about a year and a half now. Love it. And if you haven't uh, ever tried it before, it's a good way to get into new baits that you've never heard of. Try uh, new techniques out. And what I'm going to do is show you what we've got in this month's box appropriate for the season. So springtime, here's what we've got inside. This is that spinner shad. An MTB exclusive is the only way you're going to get this guy. And he's got like a little blade on the back here. What is essentially is a top water and it's going to be like a little fish just scurrying along, along the top and get some blow ups. We probably still got time for that this morning. Next right here, grabbing these worms out. It's almost like a, a natural color, but with a purple flake here. These are those swagger worms looking really clean. Also the offset worm hooks. You guys have seen me throw these probably over the last year, year and a half as well. I mean, it doesn't get much better than this right here. Three odd is going to fit a lot of your creature craws all that. Here's that Strike Pro Swing Pop in the bluegill color. This is a topwater lure as well, so they're including a lot of topwater. Now it's starting to warm up. These fish are shallow. You can uh, get them agitated over the beds and the fry, go out early morning or right there at sunset. Throw these topwaters, man, you will be getting hits. Here's those creature baits. Black and blue color, perfect for the water clarity today, so we're going to get some use out of those. And then it looks like this is meant to be paired together. Check this out. They've included a jig and some little craws that I'm going to pair up. Basically inside the Mystery Tackle Box, guys, is everything you need to know to get started, but also if you're the experienced angler, it allows us to try some new techniques, new lures on a monthly basis. Love the service. You guys try it out for yourself as low as $10. Link is in the description. Let's get back to fishing. Y'all, we're about to make the first run of the morning. 
which is pretty funny on a John boat because I've never been on one with like a decent sized motor on the back. They have always just been either paddle or trolling motor up front. So we are going to go ahead, get past all this and go make it to another cut. It's pretty windy today. The wind speeds we're talking about 20 to 30 miles an hour. I bet if we were on the main lake right now, it's going to be either, it's either crazy already or it's getting there soon. So with that being said, we're going to stick around in these creek arms and have a bunch of fun. We're going to get this thing rock and rolling. Let me grab some more coffee. We'll be about to get some more lines in the water. Yeah, there she goes. And we're off. Having the time of their life out here, man. man. Loving those fishermen. Here's what I'm thinking, guys. Start off with this worm. I have not thrown any worms today. I got a T-rig set up. Um, with this specific tail, I guess I could probably either swim it or just allow... I'm going to see how the action is once I get it in the water, but uh, I haven't really fished a worm with this style tail before. Oh, you know what? Look, this comes apart. There we go. So I, I can definitely swim it. I bet it's got some good swimming action or just a little swirl on the fall. This is not the three aught hook from the box just because it's a little bit longer. I want to say this is a four aught or a five aught. Oh, dude, I'm stuck now. Here's what I'm doing, guys. I'm going to switch things up a little bit. I like the way this worm looks swimming, and I think with a little extra flash, it could generate some attention. So I'm going to spiral it on this guy right here on this underspin. And then what I'm going to do is on this T rig, I'm going to put one of these creature baits. So we'll go back and forth between the uh, Texas rig here and then the moving worm. Switching it up entirely, guys. The bite has died down significantly, and uh, I'm going to drop it all the way down to finesse, man. I'm going all the way to the Ned rig, and with that, I'm tying on this black flash color because the water in this cut, at least, is a little bit more stained. So this guy right here, little rattle, smaller presentation. I'm thinking we are bound to get bit. See that black right there? That's oh, a guard. That, no, I'll talk about right there on that next to stick. What? I don't even see that. We might be doing some low fish. Yeah, the gar are everywhere. Dude, I would be so down to try and bow fish. Change of plans, man. The fish are playing hardball. We're headed back to the uh, initial spot by the pad. There seemed to be a lot of action over there this morning. If we can't get a couple more bites, it sounded like we might break out some bows for the first time on this channel. Jacob is being kind enough to uh, show me a couple of his rigs, maybe teach me how to use these things. We've been seeing a lot of gar up shallow. Anyways, we're gonna fish a little bit more beforehand. We'll catch y'all back over by the house. I don't remember where I got that fish. I think it was up pretty right there in that little, my, little cut pocket right Might have been. Oh, got one, got one. Really? Yes. Oh, nice. Oh, he's all right. Sweet, guys. Second fish of the day. Back where we began. I just got some fight now on the back end. All right. Oh, man. Sunset bug does not fail me, except for when the bass throws it when I flip him into the boat. That is what I'm talking about. Yes, guys. Second fish of the day. It is three hours later. I think it's three hours after the first fish. Not a lot has happened. We made it back to the home grounds, and look at what happens, dudes. Heck yes. Man, it has been kind of a struggle bus today, guys, but check us out. The drop shot is pulling through on those slow days. And uh, it's not its not just us, man. We talked to a few other fishermen. We saw a lot fishing docks on uh, by their homes, and we saw a couple guys on boats, and they're just maybe one fish a piece this morning. So let's go ahead and get this guy back in the water. Yeah, sweet, man. One and three quarter, two pounder right there. And uh, I think this is the zone, dudes. We should have never left. <laughs> we should have just fished off your dock the whole time. <laughs> I want to catch a few more before we break out these bows, dude. Let's get them. Here's what we got going on next, guys. I just tied on that jig, and uh, I was going to put on this little craw because I thought it was appropriate, but it is uh, quite small, so <laughs> quite small when I look at it up close. So I might just have to tie that onto a Ned rig later, but what I'm going to do is take one of those creature baits out of the box. Yeah, so this jig, I didn't notice it right out of the gate, but it is a screw lock jig, so I'm just tossing on this creature bait right here. And you can kind of look at the plastic and size it up and see where you need that uh, hook to come out. Looks like about right here on the body. So I'm going to push that over, hit that plastic through, and you can see it's not stretching the plastic at all. That's exactly where we need it. So I'm just going to expose that hook in the body a little bit. That way we remain a little weedless. We're getting snagged a lot out here. Shake that skirt out, and there you have it. That's a happy looking jig right there. Let's get it in the water. Well, we tried the jig for a minute, y'all. I switched it up to a bandito bug last second just to see if a different color or a different plastic made any difference, and it did not. So we're about to uh, hit the dock, recharge this battery over here, and uh, yeah, we'll be back with you in a second. Okay, yeah. You don't do nothing, but you have to but pull once that it's, in, and then you can. You, okay, pull that in. 
Got you. Just pull her back and let her rip. Let her rip. Get a one gear ratio, so. Okay, so I need a little bit more force there. <laughs> I just go right through here yeah. and I go, do I go above or below the, it doesn't matter. Uh, I, I went, just kind of, like you can put it on there and you can kind of see what would be more level, I guess. Right. I think we're looking good. Oh yeah. Okay. Is there such thing as too much slack? I guess I'm sure there is, but we'll be so fine. Just as long as I don't get hung up on stuff. Okay, I'm gonna. Right. Okay, now I'm, I'm gonna try. And, I'm gonna try and hit something now. See if I can hit the stick in the water from here. Yeah. No, no, we gotta get closer to these guards than that. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try for that little stick. Then we'll see what's about to happen, dudes. I'm gonna try and hit this stick. That's. Uh, anyways, I'm gonna try and hit this. Y'all don't even need to know where it's at because I'm probably gonna miss. Oh. Nice. You actually hit it. If that was a guard, I'd have got him. I split the log. <laughs> Hold on, guys. <laughs> I, I, I'm in disbelief right now. I'm an archer. <laughs> All right. So, so now if you reel, it does nothing on this bow right here. You, you, you hold that puppy. Now you're bringing in the slack. Okay. Dude, that was definitely beginner's luck is all I did. <laughs> That's funny. All right, guys, phase two of the John Boat mission. The trolling motor had died on us, so what we did is we went ahead, chilled out on the bank, let the thing charge, practiced the bow, and now we are going to get out, try and get on some of these uh, gar right here. We got a couple arrows locked and loaded. Wish us luck, man. Gonna try and get our first one. You said you saw one over here, though? Yeah. Right there in like the very shallows, or maybe even further out? He's parallel with the bank. He's just hanging out there. He's a little bit. In the deep? He's in the deep. He's no, back no. there in that cut. He's not oh. Here. You see him now? Yeah. Oh! oh I almost got him. Almost got him. Oh, oh, God. <laughs> oh. <laughs> We're supposed to up here, folks. Give us a second. I was aiming below him. I was aiming below him. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> that was close. Dang. Would have been the first one ever. Is that, oh, is that one's dropped down? Oh, look at that, that paddle. <laughs> there we go. All right. Oh, look at that. Look at this snake. Dude, two snakes. That is a big old boy. That's a big old boy. Whoa. Yep, yep, yep. He's chilling, dude. Drop shot would get him for sure. Missed. I missed him. It was Gar. Was it was Gar? Yeah, it was Gar. Yeah, we might need to go to that other spot. A little too chocolate milky, I think. I didn't miss as much. Might be some of these logs. Look, oh, right there. Where? You see it? Right no. There. Yep. Two of them. Oh! I, I think I got him. I got him. I think I got him. I think I got him. Oh Are we on? We're on, we're hooked up. No. Wait, did he get away? He slammed us in there. He's definitely, oh no. Oh no. I thought I had him for sure, dude. Wait, wait, wait. No. Oh my God, that was so close. Okay, let me help you out. I, did, I don't know how I missed him, I hit him. Like, I, I swore. Wind and grind. There. I'm not gonna hit a snake. Oh, I know, but I'm just saying. Oh snake. man, that was close. That was close. Is it a carp? Yeah. You want me to get it? Yeah. Did you see it? Yeah. Oh. So close. I can hit a twig, but I can't hit a large target. Oh, bass back there. Did you see a bass? Yep. Little guy. Little guy. Oh, there's one. There's one. On oh. the tree. On the tree. Oh, just chilling. Just chilling. Was he even there by the time you shot? Yeah. Oh, he was? I, I only spooked him with the, with the arrow. You could be the muse to my passion. We can make
All right, guys, back to where it all began, man. We woke up at 4 o'clock in the morning for today's episode. I hope you guys dug it. Cannot thank Jacob enough. Go ahead and check him out. I've got all his information linked down in the description. Had a blast, bro. Thank you for uh, helping me try to get on my first bow fish. <laughs> We're going to get some soon. Probably plan on picking one up myself. Thank you, MTV, for sponsoring today's video. We're going to break out all those baits in future episodes. But today, they were stingy, man. They were hitting on the frog. They went for the drop shot. And uh, that was about it. So we got more fishing in store for you guys. A lot of fun videos coming up. Stay tuned for some more John Boat action with the man right here. Till then, peace out. <gasps>